I have a message to the young people. I'm your minister of youth, and it's my responsibility to guide you and also to command you in any fight. Last night, the president guided that we should stay away from violent demonstrations on the street. I think he said it would be appropriate for us to walk silently. For those of you who want to walk silently with valid reason, patriots who are saying enough is enough, the act of corruption must stop. To march to Kororo airstrip quietly on a given date that will be approved and guided by the security and speak out on large speakers which I'm willing to offer about the challenges of Uganda. Let that day be for us to talk and then our president will listen. Either on TV or we can invite him. He has met traders, he has met Muslims, he has met everybody. There is no reason why he can't meet young people. So for those of you who want to do great aim, for those of you who want to create uh, chaos, for those of you who want to ban things on the street, let us not mislead our young people. Let us make a, a memorandum, young people make a memorandum, we submit it to the president. With a few of your leaders, then you will schedule another meeting for the entire population of young people to listen to your ideas, to listen to your views, to listen to, listen to what is affecting you. So that is my call, and I appeal to you to not join the demonstration on Tuesday. We can demonstrate in a more civilized manner without distorting traffic, without closing shops, without burning things, without burning tires. Let us be responsible. I believe the president will listen, and I believe he will act. Let us be humble. And for us, the leaders, let us all open our doors to young people. Let's listen to their problems. Let's listen to their concerns, and let's act on those concerns. It is our duty to be accountable. And I call upon those who are working in the government, and who are doing government contracts, and who are doing government supplies. If you don't work, return the money. It's not the first time, even if I became a minister, I would be hired as a function, and the function is cancelled. I pay back. Recently, my company was hired by National Youth Council to provide tents and sound. The event was cancelled. My management paid back the money. The management of the company pays back the money. So this should be a culture amongst all of us, the Ugandans. If you don't supply a service or a good, let's not take the money. When you take it, you are stealing. That is my appeal to everyone. God bless you. And God bless Uganda. God bless our president, the president, the patriots. Let's love our country.